Hello everybody, Camelia here. Welcome to a new uh, sewing magazine flip through. Today we have Knip Mode issue um, August 2023 or issue 8. And uh, let's take a look what patterns we uh, we get. So here there is an uh, overview of the patterns that are in the magazine. So let's take a look. First we have uh, a best uh, basic pattern and in this pattern uh, or in they started with this pattern they are starting a series where in every magazine from now on you get a little piece that it will work with this base uh, dress. Well I must say that in the past they had um, a mix and match pattern in uh, one of their issues or I think it was two year two times a year or one time a year where you got um, uh, a pattern where you could mix and match the dress, the uh, skirt with the upper part and different sleeves and different necklines. So you got that in uh, all in one magazine. I suppose this is something uh, similar. Now you get in only in this issue you get the base of the dress and you get um, a straight sleeve. There is a variation here on the back with the scalloped edge on the back and with a little tie to keep to keep the neck together and also another variation with a rounded uh, neckline and uh, I think this is a three-quart uh, sleeve. This is made from wovens for what I can understand from here although I don't really see how you get your head through this uh, neck opening if you make it from a woven fabric. In this case they made it here in, um, in a sweat fabric so this will have some um, stretch so I can imagine you can get pull this through but made in a viscose like this one this is a woven you have to have a larger uh, neck opening like they had here uh, like they made it with the scallop edge and of course the tie it will give much more space to put your head through. Here you can see, of course, it's obvious you can make it as a V, even this basic dress without having other pieces. And you can make some variations. And later in the magazine I saw that there is a dress which is actually is made with the same uh, pieces, the same uh, bodies, only it has, it, it is, it has some extra things. So again, more with the same pattern, but I guess they do that in knip mode already. Variations on the same patterns. Now we get into the um, and uh, to go back, this is going, of course, in the sizes. They did not put the sizes here. Well, I guess they are in the, in their, you know, all the sizes from 34 to 54, I guess. Most of their patterns are in uh, the whole size range that they offer. So this is a top uh, 8 and dress 6 and then we get in the section with the favorite uh, summer dresses and I must say that I do like some of these. This one is a really really nice one. It has, um, although I was a little bit from this I could not get immediately the idea I was thinking that there is some, must be some elastic in the waist but actually the dress, so I am here dress 12 is in uh, uh, the front and the back they are in one piece so you have one piece front and one piece uh, back there is uh, nothing in the waist so the all the shaping is getting with the tie made here and um, this variation this dress this one has a polo um, a blind polo closure in the front and you have the yoke in the front and the back and the cap of the sleeve is flat where you get then all the um, front panels in the back they are getting gathered here into the yoke and also the sleeve the upper part is getting gathered onto the cap of the sleeve and this one has also a nice deep cuff with uh, three buttons I think this one is really really pretty although for my own um, preference I'll make it with the closure all the way down and just with buttons you know you can add a little bit of interest with buttons the color is only with the color stand let's say with the uh, stand color but later in the magazine you get also a dress with a classic shirt color which can be used on this dress too as I did uh, 
took a look at the instructions and the pattern pieces and that one is using this the classic color from later you see it's using the color stand from this dress so you can put if you want that color piece on this one and just get uh, the classic uh, shirt uh, look but this dress is really pretty this one they made it here in a bio cotton with uh, a little bit of structure but of course it will work really nice in a linen viscose or well they say also poplin and they advise also double gauze but i don't really see this one in double gauze it will be a little bit it depends because you get some uh, really big volume here in the sleeves and in the bodies i don't really see that but in a viscose or a linen viscose it would work really great this little dress here is made um, this one is made also in a kind of cotton i think it's a cotton with a little bit of a brush uh, uh, feel to it um, this piece here the upper part of the bodies is, is using that um, is using this pattern where you get this v-neck on the dress here and then you get of course these sleeves that it will work really great in this dress too and uh, I think I really like this rounded piece here with all the gathers this looks really nice you have of course uh, bust darts and later you will see it also on the plus uh, sized uh, model in the magazine Next we have a variation on the previous dress, on this one here and what they did here, they brought that um, uh, hidden button, button closure, they brought it all the way to the hem they still used the same uh, color uh, piece and the, you have here on the yoke and the skirt is getting uh, cut and then you have here like an extra hem let's say or um, how should I say you know it's like a fold but I think I really like this detail this one is made also in um, cotton with uh, with a little bit of structure but again it will work really nice I think in a viscose or in a light linen or linen viscose and also maybe made in a plain color or like a really strong plain color will work, work really nice also, also then we have another dress and this is another dress it's really another pattern than this one with a tunnel here in the waist I think there is elastic in it yes there is elastic in this tunnel and as I was saying this color piece here with the standard uh, color it will uh, fit also in this one so I think for me I'll use this color piece to put it on this dress and I think just make a standard um, button closure here where you can see the buttons um, I know there not everybody is a favorite uh, or likes to have a dress with cut on sleeves and we've seen the last uh, issues of knit model we've seen a few and there is also a very popular one I think I did not make a flip through of that issue where there are a lot of uh, stitched pleats here in the waist but also that dress has a cut on sleeve and the thing is with the cut on sleeve that uh, if you make it really uh, to fit your waist here you have the chance that it will be uh, very uh, tight here in the armhole and you have the chest when you lift your hands that you lift the whole dress so I think you need to have some room here or otherwise just make the sleeve a little bit so it a little bit higher to give you a little bit more movement the more you have here uh, the sleeve sewn so the sides seam together with the sleeve a little bit higher sewn then you have more movement and you'll not raise everything up when you are raising your hands or I've uh, read over uh, about people that they are trying to um, go on the bicycle with a dress like this with cut on sleeves and it's pulling everything together and I can believe that uh, this one is made in a uh, viscose linen then we go further and this is the other dress I told you about um, the one that is using the bodice of the first dress in the magazine and this is on a plus model although I really like it on her I think it could I think it's it's a fit question could be just this waist piece just a little bit lower here but again as I often say the garments that are sewn for the magazine or for the photo shoot they are the as 
from the patterns and they are not fitted to the models from what I know. So, you know, uh, that's why I am not always looking to only to the fit because I know that these garments are not fitted to the models that they are um, modeling the, the garments for the for the magazine. Here we have again that pretty 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 dress again with the polo slouty or with the polo closure with a hidden button closure only to the waist. Again very easy change to make all the way to the hem or I don't know any other kind of uh, closure will work on this with a little bit of modifications but I really like it here with the sleeve with the gathers and the whole volume it's it's a really nice dress again for my taste I'll use the classic uh, color on this one and here we have again a uh, cotton but again this could work in a uh, all kind of in all kind of fabrics here is the dress in the smaller sizes from earlier, uh, from you know the this one. You have it here in a smaller size. This is a size 38, if I'm not mistaken, and it's a little bit shorter made. Also, really cool for the summer. Again, there is a lot of volume here in the sleeve, and I can imagine that you really need to wear like a camisole or something like that. Otherwise, everybody will uh, look inside your, you know, bra and everything else. Next we have a pretty straight jacket, not so much to say about it, you know, when outside is 30 degrees I cannot say too much about jackets, but I can imagine this is a garment for, you know, when the weather is going to be a little bit cooler. Um, then we have a really cool um, top with some uh, flowers uh, sleeves. This is made in a... In a uh, crinkle cotton I think no it's a viscose and they they say that all these little pin tucks are going into the structure of the fabric and that's true but I think I would like it in another kind of fabric I don't know and maybe a more happier color than this green it has a few uh, gathers here at the center back it's it's a nice summer top then we have the same uh, back piece if I'm not mistaken with another uh, sleeve with a tulip sleeve, uh, sleeve I think is called and here they used um, maybe it's an elastic and a drawstring or maybe only a drawstring but they also say that if you don't like that you can just let it straight and just make a simple hem I don't really like this this version I don't know maybe it's the fabric maybe it's the fit but I don't know so again a very simple easy top for the summer then we have a basic skirt which will go very nice with the previous tops. In, so it's a simple pencil skirt in uh, three lengths, uh, midi, uh, knee length and a mini one. Basic skirt, I think it's lined, if must be lined, I'm not sure. Uh, of course, uh, the longer ones have a slit, the short one it doesn't. I wonder if it's lined. I'm just going to take a look to see if they lined it. If it's not lined, it's a really easy modification to, to make. Let's see. Um, I don't think it's lined. I cannot find it. But of course, it's really easy. You cut the same pieces and then um, cut the, uh, sew them together here at the waist, at the waist uh, band. Then we have the covered dress, which is a really simple dress made in a plissé fabric. And this one is uh, pre-bought like this. I really like the volume here in the skirt. Very easy to make and yeah, I know, easy to wear, I guess. Perfect for the summer. I'll not put pockets in a plissé fabric, but if you made this one in a viscose, you could always add some pockets. And they have here a little uh, video tutorial on how to sew this dress. Here are all the patterns. I'm going to come back at the moment, in a moment to it. The pattern sheets, which, because there are so many sizes, can be sometimes a little bit difficult to uh, follow. But with a good uh, transparent paper, it's really, it's really not a big deal. And then we get in some shearing patterns. First, we have this really, really pretty top, which is. Um, Made. This is not a pre, 
um, pleated fabric is just uh, it's fabric that you have to uh, make it yourself so they give instructions how to pin tuck a really big piece of fabric and then you cut your uh, four um, your back and front pieces. The yoke is made with the same fabric but obviously without the pleats and I've seen somebody who made this top but used for the pin tucks uh, just a really small rolled hem on the serger and of course it's really much much faster than trying to um, iron every pleat and then stitch on six millimeter away uh, distance from the previous but I, I think it's a really really nice design maybe also in another kind of fabric maybe in a lace or maybe a combination of lace with uh, um, uh, how should I say here the yoke made in lace and here lace with uh, an lining underneath I think could be also really nice of course they also advise if you don't like uh, this uh, waist piece with the elastic you can just make a straight uh, uh, hem but I think this is a really great, great, nice design with also with the shaped back here. Very, very nice. Here is the same top made, of course, obviously in another fabric, another color. Really lovely in combination with the, I think it's a pencil skirt that we've seen earlier. Very nice. And here they show you how to make the pleated fabric. I bet it's a lot of work <laughs> and it's going to require a lot of time but the result is really nice okay we have here a pleated skirt yeah how should I say what can I say not not very very spectacular it's just a pleated skirt I'm going to let it there then we have a really cool pair of pants these ones are really nice although I think that if you are afraid that these are going to flare up too much the pleats in the front there are three pleats three white pleats in the front you can always stitch them just a little bit longer than the what the pattern is giving very nice pants and these ones are made in uh, tensile uh, linen so must be a fabric that needs to have a little bit of um, you know that can press really nicely to keep all these splits really nicely pressed and then we have the you know the ever classic uh, summer dress I really love this neckline with a sheared back and uh, of course the shoulder uh, bands can make can be made longer and you can tie a bow you, or you can make them a little bit shorter to make them straight over the back also for the little girls there is in the Knip uh, kids magazine there is this uh, dress this option with uh, sizes from uh, 98 to 134 it's a really pretty dress I really love this one and we are at the end Oh, no almost at the end for the knitting pattern of the month or crochet this one we this time we get a knitting pattern is a, a bag I do knit a lot but I'm not sure if I'm going to make this one the simple bag where simple is not simple in a in a knitted bag is coming a lot of work then we have a, sm uh, a sheared uh, top where it's a lot of work you shear the front or you shear a big piece of fabric I guess where uh, then you this is how I'll do it and then you cut your front and the back you have some shearing also at the sleeves and to make it complete you also have some uh, flounces here at the shoulders you know go all the way then we have this little top here which is made in um, woven it has the center back of the top is also sheared but um, there are no other closures so if you make this without the sheared back you really you definitely need to put a um, side uh, zip invisible zipper here otherwise you'll not be able to get into it then we have a pair of pants made in uh, linen although they look really nice in the drawing I'm not sure how good they will wear I can only imagine that if outside is a little bit windy the pockets are going to flare up and to fly uh, left and right so maybe I'm not sure if it's possible just to top stitch them on the leg so they will sit put and uh, this is a paper bag style uh, waist line I do have a 
few pair of pants with this uh, waistline and although I do like them or I like to see them I find them pretty uh, difficult to wear or at least for myself okay we have the pants and then we have a longer a longer option of that pleated dress from of skirt from earlier from uh, here we have it here as a longer one and I think this is a pattern that you need to uh, make it yourself of course it's not really really difficult but you know if you don't have this in your collection this is something that uh, you can consider and I really like the styling here and also they say if you put also a biker jacket on it you are good to go very casual very easy to wear and this is what we get next month we get uh, we get some really good stuff next month and I know that for sure <laughs> but I will tell about that uh, in my next video next month of course so this is it this was the knit mode from August 2023 there are some really nice patterns in it I really like the dress with uh, let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit the battery is almost very low I really love this dress and also with the big uh, tuck here on the yokes and the skirt again for me I'll just put it all the way to the hem as in this variation here with uh, buttons all the way and the classic color from this one this is a nice dress very easy to make I really love the sleeves with the gathers here at the top nice variations for the tops and uh, yeah the the classic summer dress which is really 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 nice so everybody this was it I hope you enjoyed it don't forget you can find I think all of the patterns from the magazine you can find them also on their a website as a PDF and remember with uh, Knip Mode you get uh, in uh, for with every PDF you get actually a few patterns you really need to check the the text use your Google Translate if you are not Dutch and um, you'll get there all the information so I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video I really like uh, a few patterns and for me is a winner so uh, enjoy the summer and I will see you or you hear from me in a few weeks Bye everybody!